There are so many ways of making realistic eyebrows and eyelashes like this. But in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it with the geometry nose hair system in Blender. Let's get started. So here's the model we're going to be using. And I'm just going to hide this. I already have proxy eyebrows and eyelashes in place. So I'm just going to hide this so that we can actually get started with the hair grooming. So the first thing we need to do is to make the hair scalp. And this is just a mesh where the hair is going to emit out from. So I'm going to select the character. I'll just select the head model. I'll go into edit mode. And then I'm just going to select the area where the eyebrow is going to emit out from. So just somewhere around here like this. So somewhere like this should be fine. I'm going to duplicate this with shift D and P. I'm going to separate this by a selection. All right. I'm going to go back into object mode and I'm just going to select that from the outliner. I'll rename this to brow scalp. And then I'm going to remove all the modifiers from this. I'll just go ahead and clear all the modifiers. I'm also going to remove all the shape keys from this and also all the vertex groups. And I'll also go ahead and delete all the materials. We don't need all of that for the brow scalp. So I'm going to mirror this over to the other side. So I'm going to add in a mirror modifier. If your mesh doesn't mirror over to the other side, you can just control A and apply all transforms. And now we can apply the email modifier. Because we are using the geometry nodes hair system, we want to make sure that this brow scalp, this hair scalp, has UV marks. So we are going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select everything with A and U. I'm going to unwrap angle based. And just like that, this mesh now has a UV mark. And now I want to add the geometry nodes hair curl. I'm going to make sure that the brow scalp is selected. And then shift A. On that curve, I'm going to add in an empty hair. Right, nothing happens in the viewport. We can come down here and we are going to see the curves right here. And now we can go into sculpt mode. Right, so inside of sculpt mode, here we are going to add in guide hairs just like this. And these guide hairs are going to help us make other children hair that's going to form the eyebrows. So at this point, you want to make sure that you're using references. This is the references I'm using for the eyebrow. And if you don't know the basics of using these hairbrushes inside of Blender, you can check out this video where I break down the basics. I'm just going to show you how to use some of them. Okay, I'm going to start adding hair guides for the eyebrows. But before I actually start doing that, I just want to mark out where the eyebrow is going to be. I'm going to unhide this for a bit. And then I'm going to use the annotation tool. I'll make sure the placement is on surface. And I'll just draw out where the eyebrow will probably be. So something like this, just so that I can have an idea of where the eyebrow will be. Okay, and then I can hide this back. And now we are going to start adding hair guide. So I'm just going to start with the add brush. So I'm going to add a hair right here. And this hair is definitely too long. I'm going to go under curve shape. And under the length, I'm going to change this to 0 0.01. And if I add, yeah. Something like this should be fine. I'm going to start adding in the hair guides. I'm going to add in one right here. And then I'm going to use the comb brush. So I've also added it to my PF right. I'm just going to select the comb brush. I'll change this option to projected. And then I'm just going to move this and comb this into place. So something like this. I'm going to deselect everything by double tapping A. And then I'm going to add in another hair right here. I'm going to also comb this into place. So something like this. And at this point, I'm just taking a look at the reference. And then you can always use the select brush and then select other hair. Make sure the core selection mode is active here. And then I'm just going to select this hair. And I'm going to comb this into place. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add in more hair guides. And now something that can make the grooming a bit more easier. So when we go to adding new hair guides, I'm just going to go to the add brush. You can come under the curve shape. Under interplate, we're going to check length and we're also going to check shape. And now if we add in a new hair curl, it's going to follow these ones that we have already groomed. It's not really correct now because we have not added in more hair. But once we add in more hair, it will become really accurate. So I'm just going to groom the hair something like this. Also make sure to look at it from the top view and I'm just going to groom all of this, make sure it's lying on the face. Mm -hmm. 
Nji, and then for the hair at the ends here, I'm just going to taper them to each other. I'm going to select this one, and then I'm just going to bring them closer to each other. Or you might also want to reduce the length of the hair, so you can use the grocery brush. I'm going to select all the hair, and then I'm going to go down, control, and shrink the size. If you notice that it's not shrinking right now, you can just go up to scaling. And then you can change the minimum length of the grooming brush down to zero. And now if you go down control, the length should reduce. So I'm just going to select this one. I'm just going to comb it a bit. Okay. So something like this. I'm going to work on the front a bit more. I'll select this hair right here. I'll just comb this like so. And probably I'll add in a new one right here. And then I'm just going to comb it this way. Now adding a few extra ones right here. Okay, so something like this is going to work just fine. And we haven't added hair guides on the left side. So we can just go into edit mode. I'm going to select all these hair guides, she did to duplicate them. And then I'm going to set my 3D console to the world origin. I also set my pivot point to the 3D console. And Ctrl M and X, I'm going to mirror this on the global X axis. And just like that, we have hair on the other side. So now we want to make sure to turn on X symmetry. Now, whatever we do on this side is going to be mirrored over to the other side. So this hair guide is going to be fine. We can always still come back and adjust it if we need to. I'm going to go into object mode. And now we can start adding modifiers to make this hair guide look actually like eyebrows. I'm going to speed up my viewport right here. And I'm going to change this to the asset browser. And in the asset browser, on that all, we just want to choose the hair. So we're going to get the list of modifiers here that we can use. All right. So the first place I like to start is to be able to change the radius of this hair strand. So right now we have the same radius at the tip and at the bottom of the hair strand. So to be able to change that, we are going to go under the render properties. And then under curves, we are going to change the viewport display from strand to strip. So this is what we have. So now to adjust the radius, we are going to select the set hair course proper. And then we are going to drop this right here. And we are going to make sure to select the hair. And now we can change the radius value from here. So I'm just going to change this to 0 0.01 can be fine. All right, so something like that should be fine. And now we need to add in more children here to follow this guide here that we just added in. So we are going to do that with the interplace hair curves. So I'm just going to drag and drop the interplace hair curves right there. And now the hair disappears, that's completely fine. We just need to choose the surface object here. So I'm going to select the brow scalp as the surface object. And then we also need to increase the density. I'll take this up to about 100,000. And depending on the scale on the side of your scene, these values are going to be different. So just play with something that works for you. I'm going to take this all the way up to 1 million actually. But we can see that is a big issue. An issue that we have here is that the intablation modifier is intablating hair everywhere on the brow scalp. So we want to tell the interplate hair calls to only interpolate to a certain area and the way we are going to do that is with this max texture right here so we need to create a texture max to tell the hair where to go so to do that i'm going to select the brow scalp objects i'm going to press slash to isolate this and now we are going to go into the texture painting workspace and now we can add in a new image texture to paint on this i'm going to go up to texture slots and by default, this is on material. I just want to change this to single image. And then I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to name this hair mask. And then I'm just going to make this a 2K texture. I'll leave the color as black. And then I'm going to click on new image. All right. And the brow scalp should turn black. That's fine. And now let's use a white color. I'm just going to press X to switch the colors. And then we can now paint in where we want, where we actually want the eyebrows to be so i'm just going to be rough about it at this stage and you can also switch back to the black color and paint out where you don't need eyebrows you don't need the eyebrows to be so i'll just paint something like this for now and also come in here hold down shift and blow the edges i'm going to turn on the 
pressure sensitivity and then i'm just going to blow the edges something like this is going to be fine we can always still come back to refine this mask i'm going to go back into object mode and i'll press slash to come out of the lookout view and now i'm going to select the hair curves and under the interpolate hair curves i'm going to select the hair mask and now that limits the interpolate hair curves to the places that we painted on the image texture so we can select that browse curve you can go into texture paints and then we can keep on painting on this i'm just going to use the white brush i'm going to paint a bit on this side okay so something like this is already looking good i'm just going to go under object properties under viewport display i'm going to change the color say dark color just so that we can visualize it a bit better and if you don't see the color you can just come up here and make sure under viewport shading under color you're on the attributes and then we need to add more hair curves here so i'm just going to increase the interpolate hair curves so somewhere around here is fine so now let's make this look better we can also add the clump hair curves i'm just going to drag and drop this right here we need to change some settings on the clump hair curves so we need to change the guide distance and to be able to change this let's just uncheck the existing guide map and now if we turn down this value it can start to see what the clump hair curve is doing so i'm just holding down shift to get small value changes on this slider so somewhere around here it's going to be fine and then we can also play around with the shape of the clump hair curves okay and something like that looks really nice for the eyebrows we can also still go back into the sculpt mode we can select all the curves and then we can also still adjust this to find something that we like this is mostly it for the eyebrows now let's work on the eyelashes we are going to do the exact same thing that we did for the eyebrows i'm going to select the character going to edit move and then i just need to select this loop around the eyes shift d to duplicate this and i want to separate this selection i'm going to press p and then i'm going to separate that selection i can go back into object mode and we have that selection i'm also going to make sure to remove all the modifiers from there and also all the shape keys i'm just going to remove all of them and i'm also going to delete all the groups i'm going to remove all polar attributes and also all materials and now i want the upper eyelash scalp objects to be different from the lower eyelashes i'm going to go into edit mode i'm going to select this edge right here v to separate them i also do the same thing here v to separate them i'm going to select this upper half I want to separate it by selection to so P and then I'm going to separate this by selection. I'll go into object smooth and now we have the upper brow scar separates from the lower brow scar. So now we also want to make sure to mirror this over to the other side. So I'm just going to add the mirror modifier to this. I'm also going to add the mirror modifier to this one. And then I'm going to make sure to apply them. Apply the mirror modifier on the boot meshes. Just going to select them from here. I'm going to apply it and now we also want to make sure that these have UV maps I'm just going to go into edit mode 8 select everything U and then I'm going to unwrap angle vest I'm going to go back into object mode and now these objects have UVs so now let's add in hair curves for the upper eyelashes shift A and under curve add in an empty hair and now we can go into sculpt mode we are going to use the add brush now we can add hair guides for the eyebrows so i'm still using this reference right here so i'm just going to go ahead and add in new hair guides right here and if you're wondering why the hair looks like this we just need to go under the render properties on that curve you can change this to strand for now and we're just going to add in a couple of curves here so now we have the eyelashes so now we can use the comb brush now just comb this into place so i'm combing it from the side view then i'll also go to the front view and i'll comb this out and now the size of the eyelashes right here will be much shorter so we can use the brushing brush and now we can just shrink these ones down you see so something like this is going to work and now we can go ahead and add in modifiers to this i'm just going to change it back to strip I'm going to add the set hair curves profile and I'll drop that there. And I'm just going to reduce the radius. Probably I'll copy the radius from here. 
control C and then I'm going to paste it right here. Okay. And now we need to add the interplate hair curls, just the same way we did for the eyebrows. So I'm just going to look for the interplate hair curls. So this one right here, and I'm going to drop it on the hair objects. And now we need to choose the surface. I'm just going to select the scarf that we created. And then we can take the density of. So something like this is going to work for the eyelashes. So I'm using a value of 7 million. And again, these values are going to vary depending on the scale or on the size of your scene. And I'm just noting here that we have not mirrored over the hair over to this side. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we did for the eyebrows. I'm just going to go into edit mode, shift D to duplicate this, control M and X to move them to the other side. And I'm also going to choose a viewport color for this. I'll just tell you the color all the way down to black. And you might need to increase the radius this. So I'll take this up to 0 0.03. So something like this is looking nice. So we can add in the clump pair curls just to make this look nicer. And you can already start to see what we have. And let's uncheck existing guide map. And then we're just going to bring down this value. Something like this. Just a very tiny value somewhere around there. It'll be fine. And then we can adjust the tip spread. Just to add a bit more variation to the eyelashes. Okay. So something like that looks good for the eyelashes. And now we are going to do the exact same thing that we did for the upper eyelashes. Also for the lower eyelashes. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to shift A. Add in a new empty pair. And then we are going to go into sculpt mode. I'll switch to the add brush. This time I'll make sure edge symmetry is enabled. And then I'm just going to add in new hair. I'll change this temporarily to the stand. Then I'm just going to add in new hair right here. Okay, with this in place, I'm going to use the comb brush. I'm just going to comb this facing down. And now we can use the brushing brush to change to make the sizes of this a bit smaller. I'm just going to switch to the brushing brush and while holding our control, I'm just going to reduce the size of the lower eyelashes. Okay, so something like this. And for the lower eyelashes, something you can do, just for a bit of visual interest, is to add in a action right here. And then we're just going to bring this one cruiser to an already existing hair life. Do something like that. I'm going to add in one right here. I'm just going to tune this cruiser. Okay, so something like that. We can do that for more. I'm just going to leave it at this for now. And now we can go ahead and add in modifiers for the lower eyelashes. I'm going to change this back to strip. And then I'm just going to copy the modifiers on this one down to this one. So I'm going to select this one. And then I'm going to shift select the upper eyelashes. And under the modifiers panel, you just want to copy the set hair course profile. Copy to selected. I'm also going to copy the interplate to selected. And I'm also going to copy the clump hair curves to selected. So the lower eyelashes hair curves moves up right here. You just need to change under the interplate hair curves. We need to change the surface. So I'm going to remove that one and I'm going to select the after surface that we are using. And on the interplate hair pose, we need fewer hairs on the lower eyelashes. So I'm just going to take this down, something like this. And we can also reduce the radius on the lower eyelashes. So I'll take this to 0 0.0001. And then we can choose a dark color right here. Okay, so just something like that. And the eyelashes already start to look root. You can always still come and adjust the settings just in case you have something in mind. Or more or less, that's how you add eyelashes and eyebrows to your objects, to your platforms. And I'm just going to unhide everything. And this looks good. Okay, I'm going to catch you guys on the next video.